What's up Sapiens and welcome back to a fresh new how to. In this video I'll take you on a tutorial on how to download custom virtual environments for your Quest 3. And if you're asking, yes, it does also work the same for the Quest 2. As always guys, if you enjoy my content, please show some support and tap that bell icon. Now without delay, let's begin. So as you see, my current environment is set in the final boss level of Valve's game Portal. This is a really cool one as you can see GLaDOS here moves, speaks and occasionally offers me some cake. And we all love cake. So if you're in the market for something like this to spice up your quest entrance then follow me. Before we start you'll need to enable developer mode and install SideQuest. I'll leave a link here and also in the description below for you to do that first. Now that's out of the way, to do this couldn't be simpler. We just need to go into SideQuest. So on your Quest headset Simply head over to the app library. Once in there, click on the all tab and select unknown sources. And of course, then hit side quest. In here, you want to head up to the three lines on the left. And in this menu, select custom homes. And as you can see, there are a ton of custom homes from cartoons like SpongeBob and The Simpsons to games like Resident Evil, Minecraft, and even the back rooms if you're feeling brave. Once you find the one you want, click on it. Then in here you can see a short clip of what it's like and read up on any reviews from other downloaders. My favorite one on this being, anytime I need to poop, I'm doing it here. It's pretty immersive. I feel like Rick's new best friend. Once you're happy, scroll to the top and tap that download button. Once that's done, hit install and then head back. Now tap quick settings, then tap settings, personalization, and in there you'll be on virtual environments. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and select your newly installed custom home. I'll just quickly show off some of mine for you. Now to do the same thing but on your PC, all you need to do is make sure that your headset is plugged into the PC. You'll need to accept the bug in on the headset when you plug it in, there will be two pop ups to accept. So do those and then head back to the PC. Now open up the SideQuest app and here in the top right corner you should see a green light if this is all done correctly. If it's not green and it's amber or red, it will notify you and tell you how you can fix this. Once in here all we need to do is scroll down to this category line and look for custom homes. Then we can scroll through to find something random that we like or type in the search bar like so. So we're going to have a look to see if we can get any South Park custom homes. No. Nope. How about some Family Guy? No, nope. okay, we're going to stick to Rick and Morty as I know there's a few of those. So again, once you find what you want, you're given the same options to view a trailer and read any reviews on it. Once you're happy, hit the download button and wait for it to tell you it's successful. Then unplug and jump back onto the quest. Head back over to your list of virtual environments, scroll down and select it. Bear in mind the custom environments won't have the correct photo on them when selected. They will either be blank or have a pre-installed picture like you already have. And then that's it. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed and found use out of this video. If you did, please support it by subscribing and showing some of that sapien love. I'll always try and get as much content out every week, but at the moment I'm balancing a full-time job and a newborn, so bear with me at times. I'll have more actual gameplay content in the new year, so look out for that. I've been VR Sapien. Thanks for watching.